Do you want to start a business but don't have enough money? Are you trying to get money for your startup but don't know how? If so, you are in the right place because in this video entitled How to Get Funding for Your Startup, you'll learn how to find the money you need for your startup in the right way. Meet Emily, a determined and passionate 30-year-old single parent from Ilocos. She tirelessly works as a bank teller to provide for her daughter with special needs. And Emily had always dreamed of starting her own business. She wanted to augment her source of income for her daughter's future. And with her skills, experience, and determination, Emily believed she could succeed in her business. And one day, Emily had an idea for a startup that she thought could change how people manage their money. Her plan was to make a user-friendly platform that works like a spreadsheet, one that's easier to use and to understand. So she wanted to make it simple for anyone to handle their finances effortlessly. So after months of preparation, Emily was finally ready to turn her dream into reality. Her biggest problem, however, was funding. Being a single parent, Emily had limited resources. He had used most of her savings to pay for her daughter's education. So it seemed impossible for her to raise enough money to start her business right away. But determined, she tried to find different ways to get funding. Emily had a hard time finding one method that suited her needs. She was hesitant to borrow money. She was worried that it might affect her finances even more. Also, Emily was worried that she might have to give away a big part of her business if she got an investor. The stress and pressure of trying to secure funding for her startup began to take a toll on Emily's well-being. She felt anxious, overwhelmed, and uncertain about her future. But she didn't give up on her dream. She asked her friends and colleagues for advice, and this eventually led her to contact me. When Emily shared her problem with me, I then told her, to make the right decisions when looking for funding, you need to follow specific steps. But first, let's understand what a startup is. What is a startup? Startups are like fresh businesses that make new and useful things or services that nobody else has made before. For example, Gcash and Lazada have changed how Filipinos make payments and how they shop. Remember, before these successful startups like Gcash and Lazada became what they are, they faced challenges just like Emily. And one of those challenges was not having enough money to start. Here are the five steps to get funding you need for your startup. Step number one, check your startup's financial status. Look at your financial statements like your balance sheet, income statement, and cash flow statement. These will help you see how well your business will fare and if it can even make a profit. And if you're like Emily who has not yet started her business, then you need to create these projected financial statements. This will help you estimate how much money you'll make, spend, and have in the first few years. Step number two, figure out how much money you need. To reach your business goals like making new things, hiring new people, or going to new places, you have to know how much money you need. And once you know what you need, you can look for ways to get the money. Emily, for example, did not want to borrow or give up too much of her business. So she tried getting grants or asking many people for money called crowdfunding. Now I want you to Google how to do crowdfunding so you can learn more, okay? Next, we have step number three, which is to tailor your business plan. A good business plan is important to get investors or lenders interested in your business. When you make your plan, think about how to get money for your business so you can convince them to invest in you. For step number four, make a plan to pay back the money. Think about how you'll give back the money that you got, like the terms of a loan or what the investor wants, and put this in your plan. And lastly, Step number five, get advice from a money expert. So for people like Emily, it's good to talk to someone who knows a lot about money. They can help you understand how money works in your business and give you advice on how to get money. They can assist you in selecting the best money option for yourself so you can make wise decisions. Now, let's go back to Emily. After learning all these, she used what she learned right away. She got what she needed for her startup without worrying about losing it to investors in the long run. And with the money, Emily started her business. Over time, her hard work paid off and her business grew and made more money. And with the money she made, she hired more people so she could still work as a bank teller. Now, Emily's success wasn't just about money. She made a flexible work environment that let her take care of her daughter and work. She inspired other single parents, showing them that they can have a successful business too. This is Mommy and Your Mommy Negosyo saying, Be business-minded, Pinoy! 